The debt to equity, one of the most fundamental elements of Warren Buffett, Benjamin Graham, and numerous other famous investors' philosophies is the idea of always accounting for the position's risk first, then, and only then can you account for the yield or potential return. When we look at the ratio of debt to equity, the question we are really trying to solve is, can I invest in this company without assuming too much risk for default? The first component of the debt to equity ratio is obviously the debt. This number is pulled from the total debt on the company's balance sheet. For an individual person, their total debt might be their house payment, their car payment, and whatever credit card bills they have. For a company, it's no different. The company might have debt for their factories, the expense of machines, and the short-term inventory that they had purchased. The second part of the ratio is the equity. Equity is simply the difference between the company's liabilities and its assets. The easiest way to think about equity is this. If the company was forced to end its business today, close the doors and sell all of its assets and pay back all of its debtors, what would be left? This simple little number is the equity. As you can see, when we compare these two numbers, we can get a general idea of the company's health or risk. When the debt, compared to the equity, is really high, this is a company that has more risk. When the debt compared to the equity is low, the company has more flexibility to implement new projects and adjust to a competitive marketplace. Warren Buffett typically likes to find companies with a debt to equity ratio below 0.5. But it really depends on the industry and personal preference for the amount of risk you're willing to assume. That is a choice you will have to make yourself. Don't forget, always assess your tolerance for risk first then consider what the acceptable return might be second.